There's Connor here in Madrid, in the ESA campus in Madrid. And I want to talk about Ken Blanchard and his book, The One Minute Manager. Short book, I think every new leader should read the book, The One Minute Manager. And Ken talks about a couple of conversations that team leaders, servant leaders should be able to have with their people. And the four conversations are goal setting, praise, redirection, and wrap up. Goal setting. Goal setting is where you sit down with someone from your team and help them establish clear goals for their work, short, medium, long term. Uh, one of the things that I would sit down and, and do with people working with me is ask them a question that comes from Dan Sullivan, strategic coach. Three years from now, what needs to happen so that you are fulfilled professionally and personally? And from that conversation, we identify what are the things that happen, short term, medium term, long term, what are the goals that we need to achieve so that that point three years from now of fulfillment personally and professionally can be reached. And in the ability to help another person set clear goals that come from them, but are aligned with what the organization needs to achieve. So goal setting, learning to have good goal setting conversations. The second conversation is what Ken calls the praise conversation. And this is a public acknowledgement when someone has done something well. In, in the book, he says, you, you almost, as a leader, when someone starts on your team, you are waiting and paying attention and spying on them to see them do something good. The moment they do something good, in a public way, you let them know how good what they've done was. So acknowledge and praise in a public way when someone does a great job. The more you encourage positive behaviors, the more positive behaviors will come. Uh, and it's important to stop and celebrate, stop and let people know what you just did, where you helped a colleague, where you went beyond the call of duty, where you did this work better than I had expected. This is excellent, thank you. So the praise conversation. The third conversation, which he calls redirect, which is where someone now has delivered a piece of work that is below the standard that you expect of them. And this conversation doesn't happen in public. This conversation, you want to approach the person and say, hey, come, we need to have a quiet word. And together, just you and the person, you say, you are excellent. This piece of work that you've just delivered is not. This is not representative of the quality that I know you bring to this team. This piece of work needs to improve. And one of the things I'll often do with people on my team is just say to them, you know, zero to 10, 10 being your best, best work that you've done. How good is this? And let them rate their work. Uh, if it's a poor piece of work and they rate, rate it 10, then maybe you have a, a HR problem. Very often what will happen is I'll ask someone, zero to 10, how good is what you've just put in front of me? And they'll either say it's six, seven or eight. If it's six, I'll say, well, uh, what should we do? And they say, well, I could make it better. What I'm very interested in is, is making sure that you delegate to your team quality. They don't use you, the team lead, the leader of the company, as the quality control. But you're delegating not just the work, but the level of quality and the quality control of the work. So making sure people are aware of what constitutes a 7, an 8, a 9 or a 10 level of quality of work for them, for the environment, for the, the team. So redirect is where the work has dropped in quality. It's not up to the standard that you can allow. You bring the person away and just the two of you have the conversation where you say, you are brilliant. This piece of work is not. The fourth conversation is what Ken Blanchard calls a wrap up. It's the end of a project, the end of an event. And again, when in Vistage we run our 
marketing events, what I'll get all of the people involved, all of the, the Vistage people involved at the end of the day is, is just to stop and we'll say, I want each person individually to write a number on a page and just keep it to themselves. Zero to 10. 10, this was the best event we've ever run. Zero, this was an absolute shambles. And what I want is just to get everyone at the end of each of our events to just stop and reflect on what level of quality was this event. So we can identify what things happened well and what things would make it even better if it was run again. What we often call the WWWEBI, what worked well, even better if. And making sure that at the end of each project, at the end of each event, as a leader, you pull together all of the people involved and just are very explicit about what worked well here. And l let them tell you what worked well and then even better if, what can we learn from the, today's events, this piece of work, this project, that we can each take to improve the way we work together, and improve the way we design the event, deliver the work in the next time. So these four conversations, a servant leader, uh, a leader as defined by Ken Blanchard in The One Minute Manager, knows how to have with the people around them goal setting, praise, redirect, and wrapping up at the end of an event or a project. Have a great week. Uh, this is Connor in ESA Madrid teaching this week a three-day communications program. Thank you for your comments, likes, shares. It's great to have you uh, sharing your ideas, comments on the channel. Have a great one.